you need one of these. This is a tester that will tell you uh, that the plug is working or not plugging. Or <laughs> this is a tester that will tell you whether your plug is working or not plugging. <laughs> that a good That's a great blooper. Okay, so now that we're here in front of a shielded patch panel and we've got all of our shielded runs, let's say, for example, we've got a problem. This is a residential setup and there's no bonding infrastructure anywhere. There's no rack bus bar, there's no secondary bus bar, there's just nowhere to attach your short little lead to right here. So what, what do you do? Well, that's, the, that's where the true plug comes in. But before you go just plugging stuff in, Dave's got something very important to tell you about the electrical outlet you intend to use. Well, the true plug connects to your building ground system through the ground plug on an outlet, but not if that outlet has an insufficient ground circuit behind it. Point is, you have to test and make sure there's an actual ground there even though there's a hole there, it may not be hooked up right. You need one of these. This is a tester <coughs> that will tell you whether your plug is working, including the ground. Plugs right into the outlet. This outlet is dead, so it's not going to light up. But these two orange lights would light up to tell us that the plug is good, including the ground circuit all the way to the system ground. You have to do that first. If you don't do that first, you may be wasting your time trying to ground your circuit this way. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's, that's a good safety tip, not just for your equipment, because if you hook it up into your AC outlet that's not properly grounded, what'll end up happening is you essentially installed all of that shielded stuff for no good reason at all. It won't, it won't be able to drain off the ground properly, and, and you literally, at that point, might as well put an unshielded cable. Uh, the other thing is safety. Uh, you want to make sure that your outlet is wired properly. There are situations that can occur that might cause uh, electrifying experience where you don't want it. So um, make sure your outlet is properly done right. Uh, we recommend that you plug it directly into an outlet or maybe like a multi-outlet surge protector or a surge strip, but don't go running like a 50-foot extension cable to get this plugged in. The reason being that stranded copper has additional resistance on it. You want to get it to your solid copper house wiring as closely as, as best or quickly as possible. So the shorter, the better. So try to go directly for your, your nearest outlet directly. Secondarily, a rack mounted power distribution unit's fine, or a just a surge strip you've got, you know, located and plugged into the outlet you're you're aiming for. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and just screw it in and show you how it all wires up. Okay, so with the replacement bond wire, I recommend that you snake it up from the back side or maybe from the bottom. And then this is the replacement bond wire. I recommend you, you know, use it, uh, kind of wrap it around that uh, management bar just to hold it in place while you're removing your primary or default one so you don't lose track of it. And just take a Phillips screwdriver and unscrew your eight inch bond wire, put it to the side. You may need it for you know future use. And then the new bond wire, you don't have to back the screw all the way out for this, by the way. Just a couple of turns is more than enough. And then what you do is you screw the uh, new bond wire right on. It's quite, quite that simple. Make sure it's firmly screwed in and it's making good contact with this uh, unpainted uh, metal frame back here. Okay, so now that we've got our bond wire attached to our patch panel, it's a simple matter of plugging it in. So, that's it, right there. It's now plugged in, and now your patch panel is bonded to your AC system ground. That simple. If you have any additional content that you'd like to watch, please go to our Cable Academy at truecable.com. Give us a thumbs up. We would love it if you subscribe to our channel. And with that, I'm going to say, happy networking.